Alright ladies and gents, we are back playing The Witcher 2 and we're continuing on the Fort Tameria quest and we finally found out how to get to it after roaming around for about an hour, uh, cluelessly. Do you want <laughs> we just had to come back here and talk to Roche. And then, uh... Oh, what the hell? Greetings. Greetings. Oh my god, now what? What the hell is going on? Um, right. So this guy told me I could go in. Greetings. And now I cannot. Or something. Greetings. Okay, there we go. That didn't make a lot of sense, but um, as long as we can get through, I'm super stoked. There's Roche, old son Canary of a bitch. Stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kedwin. Even yes. less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and Gamble confusing enough. Entire all these between them. Little mishaps. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos. So you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. Yeah. What's he doing here? Fuck, what are you doing here, buddy? Wouldn't listen. Just as I thought. I remember when he wrote to Bezina. Did you request an audience with the king? Yes. Yes, yes we do. The king will receive you. Alright, good good job there, guys. Oh. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Vernon Roach is a friend. He's in uniform, sure. But that's meaningless. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Tamaria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Pontar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Hensult was butchered in Vergen. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanet. Okay. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Hensult invited them. Before he died, Shillard Fitzestalan would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. Sweet. Okay, need your assistance. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensalt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? Okay. <laughs> I killed a would-be assassin. Pure coincidence, I just happened to be there. Things like that oft seem to happen to you. Do you know how he died? Hmm. So yes. Yes. I was there. Speak then. Whoa. Oh, I don't like either of these. Well, I was being a retard. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I guess I got myself into this. I'll take the blame. I killed him. Hensel had Roach's unit murdered. I can't call it anything else. In doing that, he signed his own death sentence. When he was looking for Saskia in Vergen after the battle, I cornered him in a hut and I killed him. What about Deathmold? He followed orders and deserves the same. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. Wow, well, I thought I was going to be screwed on that. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more.
Who's representing Kedwin? Is that Only the sorcerer Deathmold and his men are in Lochmuin. But Deathmold represents himself. If Temeria is in turmoil, then who has arrived to represent it? Constable Natalis, the hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? We killed one of them in Edern. Deathmold used his magic to give me a glimpse of the past. I saw the assassin talking to others. They spoke of Sheila. One mage's magic shows another's guilt. And it's no ordinary magic, but the forbidden path of necromancy. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelin warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Temeria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Divide Temeria! Shame on the traitors! Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the lava let so came Sheila's behind province. this entire thing, I think. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orville, became one of the most important people in Temeria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Loch Muin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin. In Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war. We have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt, and I'll salvage a united Temeria and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. Yeah, I already talked to him. What about Sheila? Easy, Witcher. I have ways to deal with impertinent sorceresses. I have managed to tame Philippa Eilhart. Why shouldn't I do so with Sheila de Tanzerville as well? The girl is most important, Witcher. I denounce our engagement and make her queen of Redania and Temeria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee, and the North would emerge stronger than ever. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Sheila de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance with Redania is our only chance of preserving Temeria's independence. It's still risky. Anais. She's the key. I still wonder about Boosie's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is no place to talk. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate. I figured I'd have some talents. Let's see if I can loot any of his stuff here.
Deutsch. Looking in here. Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Papabrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another vess. This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Falter's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously I was wrong, but I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Busi is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that do? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Faltus's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all! Geralt, I need to look to Anais. Learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Boosie. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. I came here for Triss. These are your matters and your people, Roach. Keep me out of this. Forgive me, Brigida. You must fend for yourself. You're a true scoundrel. And an idiot. I shall wait by the main gate. You have one hour. Then I'm gone, as is my evidence and all I know. Hmm. That comes pretty easily to you, doesn't it? What's that? Letting people go. Bollocks, Geralt. Compare her situation to Anais's. Who's in greater need? Besides, I wouldn't have let her go if I didn't believe she could manage. Brigida Papabrock is fully capable of taking care of her own ass. What if she knows something important? Then she'll deliver that knowledge where she needs to. There'll be time for that later. Geralt, I'll try to find a back way into the Kedwenny camp. It won't be easy. I'd say the same for the Nilfgaardian camp. You need to decide. If you choose what's personally important, well, I won't agree, but I'll respect it. What the hell? Explaining who's behind the regicides is not just my business. And the Nilfgaardian camp is where I think we'll learn the truth. The regicides are part of the past. Temeria's future is what counts. And you have to decide what's more important to you. I'll go investigate the Kedweni camp and look for a way in. Find me there when you make up your mind, but don't take long. All right. At your service. Level up, level up. One level. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on this path. The other ones aren't that, that great, they don't look like.
Super de doopity. Okay. Okay, so that just brought up a quest, a new one. Go save Triss and help Roche recover full test children. And I'm gonna go save Triss. But first, um, I'm gonna go talk to this lady. Sometimes this game seems to make you, they don't want to spoon feed you, they want to make sure you are actually figuring stuff out and have the experience for your own. But sometimes they don't leave you enough um, information and you're kind of left confused. <laughs> like right now, I don't know where the main gate is, why can't they just put a little marker? It says follow this. Holy shit. Well, since I stumbled upon this, let's uh, investigate. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Gotta stay focused here. Yeah, the little marker would just meet Brigada, Brigida, at Lockwing's main gate. Okay, so where's the main gate? Why can't you tell me? What's he doing here? Hey! Renault's master, I tell you! Shatter your towers and crystal balls! <sighs> oh, okay. This way. See, a little bad on my part, but a diagram would be nice for a marker. Break your wands! And this I do hats. like. I think I've already done that. The uh, gargoyle one. Turn away the black cats and the bat, the owl, and the rat. I did some of that, but find the mighty Numa. Accept his challenge. All right. Numa Numa. Son of a gun. There should be a door right there. Yes, thank you. Jeez. He's a witch of a kind of sorcerer. Ah ha ha! Ah, Geralt of Rivia, I am delighted to see you among the living and the free. Are you serious, Count? Such an injustice to lock you up without so much as a hearing. And then the beatings, the torture, it's barbaric, I tell you. Based on pure prejudice, the presumption of guilt. Actually, if I'd seen what they saw... Uh, but alas, <laughs> such is my homeland, filled with fear and thus ruthless, cold as stone, dark and severe in aura and mindset. I suppose there's some truth to that. A response at once cautious and reasonable. Admirable qualities in and of themselves positively required in your profession. If you say so. But tell me, Witcher, what brings you here? Are you nipping at the heels of Foltest's killer, close to beheading the wretch, as I expect is your style? Do you require my assistance? I just have some questions, Count. Well, ask away by all means. I am finding you a skilled, if slightly reticent, conversationalist. Um, I don't really care. Okay. Open this door. Open. Damn you. What up, bro? You have it coming. Alright, super duper awesome, cool. Evil eye! Ugh. 
Cha. A wizard. So I'm assuming this is the main gate. Fly, 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 fly. Up, girl. I'll not stay one minute longer in this cursed city. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, let's go. I forget what we're doing. We should not <laughs> move through the oldest one. We won't be bothered. I wasn't really paying attention when she was talking. Mountain path and go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? Oh, what am I doing? Does it matter, Witcher? Blessed be the eternal fire. Powerful men, important to and Vernon's mentioned them. I guess I have them to thank for an interesting chat which I had a while back. Know them well. Too early to pry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick. Hold on. The main path leads to the right. That's where they're likely to be waiting. Roach would say they'd be waiting along both paths. Roach, Roach, Roach. You're with me, not him. And I decide for myself. I agree to meet someone on the river. Damn you, woman. Go through the woods. Where are we going? This is pretty damn cool, though. Nice scenery. What's that? I feel like I'm not taking full advantage of um, the bombs and the traps and the alchemy in this. Calm, but I'm doing alright so far, so never really been pushed, been been pushed to need it that much. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Foltest's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Moon for the summit. Hmm. Yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be coming. I swear the witch's eyes look redder than they were before. Got rid of. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. This looks nice, huh? Peaceful. Flowers everywhere. Damn, this game does look cool. This is awesome. It's roaches, bitch! Kill what? them! That was a bit unexpected, I guess. No, nope, sort out. Tamaria for Tamaria! Ow. Did it? Oh, no. <laughs> little pansy archers up here. Shooting their little pansy arrows. Sharp and sticks. Off your head! Bandit. They were expecting us. No time to lose. How much further? Not far. We must stay on this path. It's the shortest way. You've gotten into some serious trouble. I should say so. Tamaria is like a haystack, and the information I have is a burning torch. Feel the resting for yourself. Damn, I, I, I missed the story when she was talking. I really don't know what she's uh, what, what she's even part of the story. 
or the story she's involved with. I'm going the right way, but... Let's save right here. Alright, some more uh, pecker heads. Skis. Rags with them. Damn rags. Guys sure carry a lot of crap for being bandits. Dude, this is so freaking awesome. Look at how. Whoa. Come on! Silver sword. <laughs> bad skills, brah, bad skills. I saw your whole family die and he came and tried to attack me. Not the smartest guy. By any means here. I think this is the greatest looking game I've ever played in my life, by far. I mean, Skyrim, you know, it looks good, but you can tell it's just, it's so, I don't know, blocky and artificial. I think it looks kind of poor, sometimes. I like the mountains and the rocks and stuff, they just look bad. <laughs> I mean, from a distance it looks good, and it's got the cool landscape and everything, but, I mean, just look at the lighting, the atmosphere, like the mist in the distance there, you can see, like, greens out and it's like foggy and stuff. All the lighting coming through the trees and the grass looks amazing. Nothing looks blocky or fake. The texture on the rocks actually looks good. I don't know, something about Skyrim is... Graphics I think are just bad. The models, I think like the modeling and the textures. It looks like you didn't quite make it to the finishing stages, like you got to the modeling stage and you didn't go to like the finishing stages. I don't know, that's just my opinion. This is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. Ruh -roh. You'll not sail off, you whore! Kill her! Ooh, I bet they're all gonna die. Fire! Strong though. Oh, yeah, it's fire is sweet as hell. Oh, damn, she's getting pretty hurt. Damn you. Okay, there we go. Mage down. Thank you. I'd not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? Talk, woman. I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. You don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children. But he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach. We both know that. Yes, yes. You're right. <sighs> what happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Boosie? What about the children? We were ambushed. 
The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander. A change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turn-off, we were attacked. Okay. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. He was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Bruce's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anaïs still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They nearly grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor. I don't think I get enough credit where credit's due. I think I saved about this entire world. No, let's, uh... So I'm not fully following the story, but somebody captured Aeneas, full test children. Um, I think they have her or something, because the one Talus or something is the leader now, and she's gonna take over. But if Aeneas was, I think if Talus takes over, they're gonna break up Tamaria into the uh, provinces or whatever. And if Aeneas gets in, that they could keep Tamaria as one piece, and I think that's what Roche is doing. She knows about the, what happened to her and everything, so I'm trying to kill her. But no, I got the information, so... Okay, um... I wanna go save Triss. It's been a long time. We've been searching for this girl long enough. I think we need to find her. Let's have a nice reunion. Oh, we're in a rush. Okay, so I gotta go there. Water quenches lime like beer quenches thirst. Oh. Hmm. Cormorants, a string of cormorants. <laughs> I can open doors now, Jesus. He 
he's a witch as a kind of sorcerer. Guard the camp like it's the Emperor's treasure. Look who's here, the Rivian Witcher. Greetings. Our paths cross often, it seems. Too often. What do you seek here? <laughs> Triss <Mary laughs> okay, goodbye. In the Nilfgaardian camp? Fistek has addled your brain. Shit. Uh-uh. Lower your sword, son. You I didn't got see that cheek, Geralt. Let's go. <laughs> like a boss, dude. Like a boss. One Get false move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency. And I believe you will. Reynold and orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you many gold. Then he'll die. No, mark my words. You will. Unless. No, I don't believe I will. Pretty sure I've made out of the thicker chance. Out of the way, this. all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Ben Wolf! He who brings me the Witcher's head. We'll get the order of Mary. Mm. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Orders from the capital. Oh, that sucks. Now I'll have to kill <laughs> Yeah, badass. What are you now. waiting for? Get him! <laughs> that is awesome. Man, I haven't seen the Witcher be that badass in one. Or ever, actually. This is awesome. I'm glad I picked this one. Die, dog! Nice. Oh. Sorry, man. Thought I killed you. I like the. That's really, really cool. Then, yes. Oh, no God!
Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Holy shit. Kill him! Onilka! Okay, this will greatly help me. The Imperial Army's ranks are endless! Pretty freaking awesome. I have a feeling these silver rings are worth a lot. Okay, sweet. Sword. 40 to 44, holy shit. So I'll lose 25 vitality, um, lose damage bonus on signs. Well, that's a pretty big increase in damage. So we're gonna take that. Okay, we got any runes here? Rune. Yeah, I'll throw that in there. I had that on the other one. Okay. Sweet. Damn it. <laughs> uh, don't need that. Still two overburned? Jeez, I'm crow. Good thing I got these load max thing. I could just store some of my swords. I I mean I can sell for a good price, but I'd rather store them. Congratulations, Witcher. They were my best men. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? Let's just say we're close. I knew. You're in love with her. You wouldn't risk your neck otherwise. But you don't know everything about her. Yeah, I think something's up with her. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. You lie. You think it impossible? Triss was loyal to the crown. You're a fool. That's what happens when tits take over a man's mind. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup. Call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you. All right, let's see. Pretty big ass battle here. Surround him! All right. Of course, and I get hit right off the bat, as per usual. Holy freaking crap! 
Long live the Emperor! Okay, this is proving to be a little difficult. Just throw down a coin. Why does that not work? I don't know. Okay, I gotta take this mage out and he's kicking my ass. There we go. Shame to the Empire. Shield bearers, forward! I'm losing vitality again, but I mean, look at that. That's, that's pretty awesome. Reduction from damage and magic, that's really nice. I do wish I had vitality. But the resistance is pretty good too, so. And it increased my load too, so. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's put that in there. Might as well. I haven't seen much better than that. For upgrades. Actually, you know what? That's pretty good too. Let's do that. Get the vitality in there too. Sweet, that's pretty damn good armor right there. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, I like that. That's cool. They all look pretty similar. They're all pretty busy. A lot of stuff going on in them. stuff. Okay, so I think... 10, 8, 8. 15, 8, 8. Okay, this is a lot better, actually. Elder Bloods. I think that's what I got in those uh, gargoyle... the gargoyle place. I did do the little uh, puzzle thing. I got like fucking 40 people. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Alright, baby. What's up? What's up? What's up? Geralt? <laughs> Didn't expect to see me. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. I'd slaughter half the Nilfgaardian army for a friend. I know you're a member of the Lodge, Triss. How do you know of the Lodge? Does it matter? I also know the Lodge was behind Demavan's assassination. Geralt, I... I trust you. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? 
to the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Uh, sure. Calm down, Triss. Reynold at Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philippa's not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. The best laid schemes of mages and men. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. I'd choose the same if I were her. Demavend didn't have a network of spies anywhere near as good as Hensholtz or Radovid's. Nor could he count on the loyalty of such men as our dear Vernon Roach. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate him. Okay, that... Them. Oh, finally, oh my god. Them the Witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirne. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Moon. <laughs> that sucks. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me courted. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Okay, so she was part of the group that... Okay, the, um... Lodge, or whatever. And to kind of edge her out because she was close to the Witcher. There's feeding the Witcher certain information that wasn't true, which had to manipulate him. And then Sheila hired <laughs> the assassins Letho to kill the Kingslayers for what reason? Why did Sheila want? Maybe they take over, I think. <sighs> okay, the mages want to take over, so. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few horns. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoia'tael. What did she want from Yorveth? The Scoia'tael were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do, given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. 
who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demovan's successful assassination, Sheila and Philip decided oh, okay. to take the next step. That would be stupid. So we only know about Demovan. Demovan was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltes died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltes, and Sheila was working with Letho. So I think there's going to be a twist of the Witcher, too. That he was going to be part of the Kingslayers, but then he's not anymore or something. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanet Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. Alright. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Isleheart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Alright, sweet. So, we saved her, got her information, learned that Sheila was behind assassinations. Hired Lisa to kill a full, or at least Demavand. And maybe um, full test. So, all right, we learned some stuff. Uh, cleared things up a little bit. <sighs> That's a confusing story, kind of coming to a close there. So the, the mages were behind it all along. Okay. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe, and we'll start the next uh, episode pretty soon here. See you guys.